Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys if you have a BMW guys X3 and you're trying to test your camshaft position sensor. Stay with us, we'll cover everything from start to finish. That way you will find out if your camshaft position sensor needs to be removed, replaced or you just have a problem somewhere else guys. So we'll cover everything today. Make sure you stay until the end. All the tools and parts that we use in our videos or if you need to buy a new camshaft position sensor, check out the link. We'll share where we get all our tools and parts from in addition guys every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you let us show you what we have here specifically guys we're making this video because many of you actually requested that video many of you don't know that the same camshaft position sensor has been used in bmw 3 series 5 series Series X3, X1, X5, uh, and uh, even if you have guys a 4-6 uh, cylinder gasoline diesel engine, the procedure to test them will be about the same and we will explain what to look for. So make sure you guys you stand till the very end. Now, before we start, I want to share something with you. This channel right here, how to repair guys, this is our main channel. We have helped more than 75 million people. We have information guys that can save you thousands of dollars on car repairs. So definitely guys, check it out. You will not be disappointed. So let's start explaining about that sensor, how it functions and how you're going to be able to test it. You will have three wires guys. Your colors may differ, but usually you will have a black or something that looks like black. It's a thinner wire and that's most likely guys, in most cases, this is the negative ground wire. Then you have two other wires and one of them will be a 12 volt ignition wire. The other wire will be actually a 5 volt signal wire going to the engine computer. So talking about that now guys, if you don't know which wire is which, how you can test that? Pretty simple. You can disconnect the sensor, okay, and you can get the, uh, you can get just a voltmeter guys, regular voltmeter. And uh, let me explain quick before we connect everything. And uh, you can put the black lead on the black wire and at that point you need to turn the ignition switch on on your car guys so you need to get inside and you need to turn the ignition switch on what that means it means that guys you need to turn the ignition to the second position if you have a radio or key where your dash lights are on or if you have uh, uh, the one with the push start button don't press the brake pedal to start your car just the, press the ignition switch sometimes it takes one or uh, twice depending on the model and uh, you will turn it on to where you see your lights on. So you have to have the dash lights on and engine not running. Make sure you don't spin the engine. And if you check the voltage on the black wire with a uh, uh, black lead from the voltmeter and the voltage on one of the other wires, one of the wires will be ignition wire and it will be close to 12 volts or around 12 volts. And the other wire black, let's say in yellow in our case, it's five volts, black and orange is 12 volts. We need to actually test the signal wire and uh, we need to test uh, not only the signal wire, but also we need to test the uh, uh, ground wire. And in our case, we cut them a little bit. I wouldn't recommend to do that, but if you, uh, want to there is a special tool that you can poke them with that way you don't have to cut your wires what we did we peel them this is the signal wire yellow wire in our case 5 volt wire and the black wire and we'll connect the alligator clips it's very important not to actually touch the two okay the two wires together because you can actually uh, cause damage to your electrical system, burn a fuse or even burn engine computer. Hold them good. Now you should get a reading of about 5 volts. At that point, if you attach a metal tube in front of the sensor, your voltage should drop to zero. Check it out. Now let's go again. 5 volts. Let's go one more time. Zero volts. 5 volts, 0 volts. So you can see guys, definitely this is one good working sensor. When you apply a metal tube, it should go to 0 volts. When you remove the tube, it should go to 5 volts. So definitely guys, good working tube. You get the idea uh, how to test it. If you don't have guys uh, a changing signal, probably there is a problem somewhere. It could be the sensor or it could be a bad wiring harness. How you can check if the wiring harness is bad. Disconnect the sensor and check black wire with yellow and you should get 5 volts. Otherwise, you may have a broken wire. So hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.